breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by, by a supernatural being from outer space with their first contact made in National's capital. Our reporter Stephanie is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Stephanie? Thank you. I am Stephanie reporting live from Linton Q. As you can see, there is panic and terror in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens through out towns and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want. The risk of harm to the public is re very real and... Now a bizarre and exclusive alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Joey. What's happening there? Well, yes, it's very tense here. What we can tell you is that these aliens smell really awful, like a mixture of green, green, green fungus and sardines. It looks like one of these aliens is about to dress us through a special translation device. People of this earth, listen carefully. We are superior beings of the planet Gooper from the galaxy Mustafa. We demand these things in no particular order. We want belts. We want sparkly clothing. We want rotten bananas. If we don't get these things as soon as possible, we will destroy you with a foul goop. You have three days. That is all. Or else. Well, there you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using hashtag OMG aliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement, so we cross now to par parman parliamently reporter Nico. Thanks, Dylan. Crowds have gathered here, but many are still on their way to work. Some people are quite unaware. Aliens have invaded people. Wake up. Be afraid. Here comes our Prime Minister to address the nation. Tēnā koutou katoa. People of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister asking each one of you to remain calm. It is important that we make these space aliens feel welcome. We must display all the friendly qualities that define us as New Zealanders. We will be holding a porphyry later on today, then I'll be joining the alien leaders on a helicopter ride of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these beings will spare us from destruction and move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend you hold your breath, smile and quickly run away. That is all. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts to discuss what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you hear me there? What should we do? Well, I think that people should stay in their basements and keep calm at all times. Well, obviously that is completely foolish because what we all should do is run for our lives because we have to think about all the weak people like who can't defend himself against all the aliens. You two dim-witted idiots are both wrong. What we should be doing is giving all the aliens what they want so we can finally live our life normally again and live happily ever after with our alien besties. Well, so much for the opinions of the experts. Are we right? Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll have to find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, Dylan. There's an out, outrage and there's outrage out there. And not in the, oh, as the aliens try to knock over the, the sky tower, they used to as a space antenna or what right from downtown area. And one thing, the railroad, the railroad station has become an a alien transport lounge where they're relaxing and preparation for killing us all. Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury where the aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the regional cow community. And Dunedin creatures have been, been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street and the alien set has been extremely dizzy. 
this should not be approached. Well, I'm going to hide in my basement. Back to you, Dylan and Quinn. Thanks, Castro. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I'm sick or the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch it and the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye, everyone. May these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha, and we'll see you tomorrow if there is one. <laughs>